Hello, this is Jason Keller with TTR. Today, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to create a state machine workflow in Nintex Workflow 2010. So the first question my customers ask is, what is a state machine workflow? And it's a great question. A state machine workflow is a, a, essentially a workflow that will allow you to route a business process between multiple branches. So as an example, you might send a document to accounting after they approve it, it might go to payroll, something along those lines. Uh, in this particular example that I've set up, I've done this kind of around a doctor's office and submitting a document into a document library, at which time it would get routed to the doctor for review. If it passes the doctor review, then it would go to medical records. If it passes medical records, then it gets submitted as being a medical record. Uh, at any time, it can get rejected during that stand, um, during that process and assigned back to the person who submitted the document to review it and resubmit it, something along those lines. So uh, these workflows are a little bit bigger than uh, some of the other workflows that we demo. So I've actually gone out and, and built most of this workflow for us to review. So what I want to do in the demo is actually take you through that workflow and uh, show you how to configure these workflow objects around doing a state machine. So first thing we'll do is I'm in my library here. We'll just go to my library ribbon and we'll go to my workflow settings at which time I already have my workflow created, so I'll select Manage Workflows with Nintex Workflow. As you can see, I have one unpublished workflow for a state machine demo, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that this workflow is a little bit more robust than some of the other demos that I do. So as you can see, a document gets routed in. First thing that happens is there's a conditional statement. Ask, is this a medical record, yes or no? If no, it gets routed into the state machine. If yes, then it gets sent to uh, medical records for review, at which point it could be updated, submitted as a medical record, part of the final um, record for this particular user. Otherwise, it's going to get into the state machine. And you can see here, a state machine essentially has as many trees or branches that you would need to accomplish your business process. So to configure the state machine, very simple. You just add the state machine workflow action to your canvas and then go to configure. You can see here when we go to configure, we have several different uh, workflow outcomes. Okay, so we have doctor review, medical records review, and initiator review. Very easy to add an additional state. We can go ahead and say one for JSON review. Then when I save this, you'll see that I have an additional branch for JSON review. If I need to uh, delete that, I can go ahead and configure that and delete this. The first thing you'll see too is it says choose the state that this state machine will start in. So we have these three different states here. So we'll just select doctor review. That means that when a document gets submitted and it's not a medical record, it's gonna immediately go to the doctor to have them review the document. When they approve the document, it will then go to the next step. And we'll go ahead and look at that in more detail here. All right, so let's look at our doctor review. So our doctor review, we basically assign them a task. If they approve or reject it, based off the outcome, we will update the state machine accordingly. Uh, as you can notice, I have several other workflow actions here. I'm actually interacting with the list and updating a field on the list based off of the outcome of uh, the task. So that's what you see here across uh, all these update items. Uh, but you can see here, if we go to the reject outcome, we're gonna change the state and we're gonna change it to initiator review, which is over here. At this point, we ask the initiator to review the document, then we update it back to doctor review and assign it back to the doctor review state. So you can see it's really easy to jump around in this state, and the state machine you know, adds a lot of power and flexibility to your workflows. To change the state, you can just simply uh, drag the change state workflow action onto your canvas and configure that. It's really simple to configure. All you have to configure is a single field, which is next state. So after this outcome, where do you want it to go? And you just select which state in your workflow you'd like for it to jump to. So. That's pretty much it. Uh, gives you a lot of flexibility and power in your workflows. Uh, encompasses business processes very, very well. Definitely something that all my uh, customers are interested in seeing in Nintex and how they can encompass this type of business process in Nintex workflows. State Machine is 
definitely a tool that is, is very powerful and I can definitely see how most customers would leverage this workflow to accomplish their business needs and automating processes within SharePoint. Well, thank you for your time today. And if you have any questions, please visit us at our website, ttrcorp.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.